This conference will now be recorded. So you can practice there, of course. Uh, you can also what you can do. You can also practice in CloudX Lab, or uh, you can download a Cloud Era distribution. And uh, what you can do, you can start working from Cloud Era distribution. That is also. So that command practice, if you, you choose what, uh, no, like how you can go ahead. Okay. So if it is Cloudera distribution, I'll show you today, like how to download Cloudera distribution and how to create your own, uh, what do you call this, uh, your Hadoop box, okay, at local, in your local machine. Okay, let me just open this now. So if it is CloudX lab, you can uh, just take like this. Uh, okay, just click on this. And you know, right, you have to sign in whenever you are going with something. You have to sign in with your uh, existing thing. You have to come here and say that my lab. And you can see here, uh, your credentials will be there. Then you have to choose not console. And make sure that uh, you log in within uh, 60 seconds, that is very important. Uh, okay. One of your learn well, 57462. So, that is one thing. Second thing is you have to give the password. If it is this one, for practicing, right? 9818 YO54. So nine eight one eight. Oh, okay. Y two I So I am able to successfully log into this uh, Cloud X lab. I told you right. I'm using some free version, but anyhow, I'll continue with the uh, which one. Uh, if required, I'll continue with this one as well as uh, I will also show the same in. Uh, uh, Cloud error distribution as well, and the, how Cloud error distribution works. Uh, behind the uh, thing of Cloud error, all that we'll discuss one by one. So now, yesterday we had discussion a couple of commands. Uh, you remember, right? We had discussed like up to ch mod and cat command. Well, you will discuss which are important. We don't go with too many necessary things. Okay. So this anyhow you can, uh, I told you right, I will take one workshop on weekend with uh, more comments and more information. Just for now, whichever is necessary for us uh, just to understand uh, our day-to-day -day learning process and uh, the activity we, which we do in the class. For that, whatever comments we need, we use. Grep is not something which we regularly use, okay, but still you can, uh, you can try to understand it. It is something which is used to such your uh, value, it is for searching, searching some uh, words or uh, searching some lines. That is where the script comes into the picture. Uh, you can see here in a file, if I want to see that string is there, uh, then I can search like this. I can say grep and uh, I give whatever the string I want. And then the file name, I can specify the file name where I want to find the um, that's that that word or something in the in your Linux machine. Okay, so we can see that we can just quickly test it. Uh, okay, I'll just create a simple uh, file here just for testing the grip. If you're interested, it is used for what? It is used for searching. Okay, so we do is a control C. Let let's quickly open this and create a cat command and then cat. Uh, great. I think we need to do anything already. But copying from there to here directly, it's not possible. I hope. Usually, it's it's possible in our uh, real time machines. But here, as this is a cluster, uh, I'm not sure this is possible. So no problem. I create a simple file here directly. Some abc dot txt. In that, I am writing. Uh, is that some some text I am writing bit 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 butter something like this okay just something just for you uh, know this thing enough for me and then control C 
Let's enter and then say, I don't see that's enough for this. Sir. Now, what do you do right now? You can search it. Okay, what we can do? So, let's, uh, what do we do? Search, apply grab space. I want to find BT in this file, whether BT is there or not. Okay. What you do is uh, uh, specify BT and then give the file name abc.txt and then enter. Okay, that spelling, there is a spelling mistake. Okay. Stuff, uh, this one you have to use here. You can see it's highlighting BT there. Okay. And it will return all the lines where BT is present. Okay. That's how you can do the search. Uh, here, right? All of this. Understood now. Next one after this. So that's about uh, grab command. Next one. Next one. There are some some flags along with this. You can try them again. Okay, that's not too difficult to follow. Okay, this is a uh, pipe command means. Uh, the purpose of pipe is if you want to do multiple operations uh, in one command, then you can apply with pipe so that the result of one operation is concatenated to the uh, other operation. Means once this is done here, then uh, an operation is applied on the other part. Like that it goes, the pipe purpose is that, okay? So you can check that again. That you can try again, not a problem. And cat we have discussed, okay? So this is all about uh, basic Linux commands. I told you, right, I'm going in, in a just a, a brief discussion. So okay. we'll go to the detailed uh, discussion in a workshop. Thing, okay. I'll, I'll plan workshop this week or next week uh, on all the detailed, uh, all the commands, uh, more than at least some 20 to 30 commands uh, we'll discuss in the Now, we have just discussed about Linux commands and the basic commands which we generally use in day to day. Also, we use this uh, VI command as well. In our day to day work, what is that we do is, uh, we also use something called VI. What that we use is uh, Vim command, VI sub ABC dot. Uh, or you can directly you know, say VI, you can, uh, this is also very useful editor. And uh, you can say escape and then press I means insert you can add something here and then once you are done press escape and say shift to colon and then wq save and exit and then press it okay mm, maybe one minute wq has to come out but for some reason i think we should save it we should also give a file name to this Maybe that is the reason. Uh, as we didn't, uh, as I didn't mention the file name, it is just uh, um, okay. No problem. I'll do one thing. Va okay. Some xyz dot txt. I'm just giving you some idea. You can again explore later because what you have to learn, I am just giving you a heads up for all that. So. I just type something. So whenever you are typing, there are certain uh, you know commands you have to follow. If you want to uh, write something in this VA, you have to press I insert. Once that is done, you have to press the escape and then shift control and then you have to save it WQ and then press it. It's happening usually when I say this, it will come out. Okay, let me try like this. Okay, small wq. Okay, now it is saved. Right? Now, if you want to see what is the content, it's not a capital wq. Wq in sense save and exit. W for save, I think q is for exit. Quit. Okay, so now you can see that whatever I have entered in the this thing. So, practicing all this is useful to you when you are working in a real environment. Okay, just uh, giving what to learn and 
how to learn okay this commands anyhow you don't need to oh. worry too much about it because automatically when they start working uh, you can quickly get hands on experience yes if uh, there are not hardly we use these commands in the working environment very rare that we we go out of uh, this and uh, we try to work okay so then after that uh, what else uh, history of discoveries what this is. so what is the difference between linux and hdf there is a bit of construction is any disturbance of noise is coming so you have to bear with that there is nothing uh hi sir just a quick doubt yes please how to come out of that uh, vi because it's showing some error how did you come out without giving a name uh actually that's what even uh, for me we have to give some name i hope uh, for that okay. you should just by mistake if i went how to come out of that now you have to say q Uh, let me just show you by mistake if you enter then suppose this is by mistake okay escape set okay i'm just typing something and you just want to about it then q q not can you see that q not okay ha ah, means you can direct it. but it is expecting a file name to give file name then you can save it and in into a file and then quit it and then you can come out of that you can search in the google guy google uh, yeah, got it got it. thank you yeah so that is one thing so usually what we do is uh, we don't uh, directly open it uh, in the dev environment uh, what we do is uh, we we have json files and all the Uh, different things. Uh, one minute, guys. Somebody is. Uh... Let's continue. Nothing to do. Okay. So that's it, guys. I think you are fine, right, Karthik? Just see how to give that name and. Okay. So somebody is asking about some Hadoop. Uh, he is from US, I hope. Okay. It's fine. They have some issue there. And asking me to help it, but we'll we'll talk about it later. HDFS commands. What is this? You know, these are called uh, Hadoop distribution file commands. First, just learn commands. Then I will explain uh, what is HDFS. All that one by one, uh, the architecture and uh, the different uh, demons, uh, new node, data node, job bracket task, Hadoop one x, Hadoop two x. All that I'll discuss in one or two sessions. I'll give a, a clear analysis about uh, the Hadoop part, part. Then once that is done, once you get quick understanding like about uh, how this Hadoop works, what are the background uh, processes running, and what are the major, major Hadoop process we have, then I'll start uh, other topics. Okay. Then I'll tell you how to uh, proceed, like uh, based on priority. Instead of focusing on something which is, uh, you know, not very important, uh, uh, which one to pick first and focus more time and uh, energy on that, that I can do. You know. So fine. So how do you connect it to the Hadoop here? What are the basic commands which you do in your day-to-day -day work? Suppose generally, when I say PWD, it will show home. Usually, if it is cloud, it will show. Home cloud and uh, here it is showing some home one here because this is already customized cluster, so it will show me home one. Suppose I want to see the HDFS uh, files, then how do I know that where my HDFS is 
uh, files were there. So for that, I have to see HDFS, DFS. If I don't know exactly the path, first just say slash. Okay, HDFS, DFS, hyphen LS. Same commands you try with, HDF, with HDFS also. But this time, whenever you say this HDFS, DFS, you are connecting to the cluster. You are not connecting to the local machine. Earlier, you try to work with local machine. But this time, your local machine sends regular file system or Linux file system. You are trying to work with Linux file system. But if I want to have to access to Hadoop distributed file system, because whenever you are working with Hadoop when you run, it uses a distributed file system. Maybe if you, you can ask me questions like, you know, what is distributed? Uh, what is that uh, uh, difference between normal file system and distributed file system? You might ask me a number of questions. Sir. See, uh, tomorrow, we'll talk about all that in tomorrow's session in detail. Tomorrow in sense on Monday again. So on Monday, I will clearly explain so all the different things. Okay, tomorrow because I have again a weekend Python session, so that's why uh, we'll talk on. Monday. So now here, the point is, if you want to connect it to the Hadoop distributed file system, then what you have to do, you have to apply this HDFS and DFS. Okay, this is what regularly we use in our uh, in our office. When, when I enter my office, uh, without using HDFS and DFS, uh, that day doesn't end. Because we have to move the files from local file system to uh, HDFS paths, and then we have to keep the files there, and then we have to start loading files into the HBase. Because our uh, uh, environment is HBase. In some projects, there will be high. In some projects, there will be HBase. Like that, the data will be stored. Understood, right? So, HDFS, LS, if you don't know the path, usually the path will be known to us because in a real-time environment, the path will be already clearly updated to us. Okay, this is where you have to put your data and this is where your files are available. All that is mentioned, okay? So, slash, just enter. Okay, and you can see there are so many things. Can you see there now? When I say slash, this is actually what uh, your HDFS part. And you know, this user, can you see here? This user, slash user is the something which is belonging to you. Can you see how many people are there? That user that belongs to the HDFS part. And under user, you can create uh, your own folder and you can keep your files inside that. All right, right? What you can do? So, if you see this, there are so many files. When I say slash user, okay, as soon as I say slash user, can you see there? And under that, it is showing so many. Means user slash, usually the path will be like how, how the path is a slash user slash something. This is default HDFS path. If you see, remember carefully. Whenever you are working with these two file systems, if it is Linux, Linux will have always have something like a slash home slash something. If it is Cloudera, Cloudera will have slash home slash Cloudera. That will change. If it is a real time cluster, again it will change. Whatever I am, I am going to work. Okay, Cloudera. If it is HDFS, HDFS path. It is it is something like this. How it is always HDFS will have slash this. You know these are the very basic things you need to understand because without having clear idea about these fundamentals, it is difficult for you to follow in future. Some people get confused between slash home and slash user. Whenever you see slash user, means it is a HDFS path. Means your files are in HDFS. Means it is totally the way they were stored in HDFS is totally different from the Linux file system. It is a distributed file system. When you put a file there in HDFS, it will be split into blocks and it is stored internally over a cluster. But you don't see all that. Don't worry about it. But that's how it happens. I will explain about all that. Don't worry. Just remember for now. Slash user, you can create 
something with your name okay, under a HDFS, like a slash user slash manohar like that, okay? Or something which is meaningful, depends on your project requirement. Okay, so here, I don't have a folder for me. These are all people who has purchased, uh, you know, this CloudX lab practice sessions, okay? You can see here, there are so many. I don't think you can have access to their files. I, mean, I don't think so. But still, if you are curious, you can test it once, but it is not a good habit because it's not our files. So here, got it right? Let me clear it. And then now, again, what shall I do now? HDFS, DFS. First of all, I want to create a directory. You can see. These are all HDFS commands. I had applied hyphen ls slash user slash something. This is for listing. This is a one command. Okay. What do you do? HDFS, DFS hyphen ls, then slash something. Slash user slash something. Okay. This is a listing command. Same commands which we apply in uh, Linux file system, you can apply on HDFS as well, but the difference is uh, you have to put a flag here, gentlemen. What do you have to do? You have to apply a flag here. What is right? So now, what do you do now? Again, uh, uh, open this. I want to create a directory. So what I do, mkdir, I direct in HDFS, not in local files. mkdir, manohar, okay. I'm just giving it directly so that not to have, because there might be other manohars in the path. So with initial, it is very rare that it is a unique combination, enter. Okay. It is saying uh, there is some permission issue here. Usually, then you do one thing. You can apply sudo command. Okay, let me try this. If I can try with uh, sudo. So it is asking for password. Whenever you go for uh, sudo, sudo is actually the super command. Okay? Whenever if things are not working in right way, then you can go for so, but all this you don't have issues in real time cluster because you know I never used a sudo command in my real time cluster. Even if I use also, it will clearly tell you are violating the privileges. You are trying to get admin access because this sudo su all these are used only by admins, not for not by normal people. Okay. So anyhow, let's give the password to that. So here. 9818YOI4. Let me give it. 9818YOI4. Let me enter. Sorry, user Manohar is not a executor. Okay. So then I can do one thing then. Mm, I can go for su, su command. Okay. Let me try to create from root a, a folder from root. Okay, so is for getting into the root command. Okay, mm. then again nine eight one eight y o i four. You can try all these options. Okay, let me just check this. Why it's not giving me the access? Usually, that's you don't have all the issues. I'll check and update to you. Okay. Uh, try uh, uh, su hyphen hdfs. Uh -huh. Su hyphen uh, hdfs. Okay. Seems like uh, Manohar Papasan is already there. I hope. Let me do one thing. Let me give it answer. Let me try one more time. If this exists. Uh, I 
can show you this, not a worry, not to worry. I can show from, okay, not a problem. I can get to this uh, cluster and show you. I'm just trying to show you this one. Are you, are you other guys are able to create a uh, make directory? Those who are uh, having account in that? For me also giving error, same error, one of her. Okay. Then we should yeah, check. So first, uh, we need to switch to HDFS users. So, SU hyphen HDFS, and then we can okay. uh, run this command. Okay, then I'll try that one minute. SU hyphen HDFS. Okay, somebody is helping us. Let us uh, because hyphen. If you can, others also can try this space, HDFS. Yeah. Space uh, hyphen space hyphen space. Okay, no problem. Two hyphen one minute. Let me clear it. So su hyphen HDFS. Space space uh, hyphen space HDFS. Ah, okay. Yeah. Enter that. Now yeah. we have to give nine eight eight yo i four. What is the password for HDFS? Same password? Yeah. Be root here and then uh, try to switch. First, be root on the uh, Linux server. You want me to get into the root tab? Yes. Uh, to root tab. Yeah. To hyphen root tab. Hmm. So okay. you give the, yeah give that password nine eight one eight y o i no it's not allowing you not what about you. others who has uh, who has purchased it or uh, no for me there is some issue here. Actually when you say you know, we can directly say this. What is that? Uh, directly say HDFS uh, DFS. Uh, this is the command actually mkdir slash user slash something. Okay. And you, can, uh, you, you can create a folder in that and you can keep your files there. You can say something like uh, Manohar and then when you press enter, that will be created. I don't know why it is taking. Let me, I'll show you here. This is my. This one has opened See here now. I'll just show you HDFS, DFS, hyphen, I O M K D A R, slash user, slash Manohar, one, two, three. User Cloudera, because that is the path of uh, HDFS in uh, Cloudera distribution. Under that, I can say, okay, you can see here now. Under that, I can say, Mano, enter. Okay, now create it. Can you see this now? So in uh, inside this, okay, if it is this one, you can uh, try this. Here, you can create under user, but if it is Cloudera, you can choose user Cloudera. That is default path for HDFS. Under that, you can create Manu. And if you want to see that whether it is there or not, you can try one thing dfs dfs hyphen ls then you can say slash user slash cloud error then press enter can i see this now it will show you list of all the files under this cloud error user cloud error as this is local cluster it is slow it is a bit slow can you see this now mono is a folder this is directory you come to know that whether it is directory or file, if you observe this first starting one, D represents directory. 
okay and uh, if, if a hyphen or something it is a file okay you can see abc.txt can you see manolo file created this folder created or not that's what happened that should happen here i'll check and update in the next session okay why it is not uh, you know creating uh, i will find out in the well today i will explore and update because usually i don't use cloud lab much. if i oh, sorry. Hmm. It is allowing me to create a folder, but not a specific user. No, folder only, right? That's what no, I'm able to create a folder. You are able to create a folder? Like, oh, it's showing like normal folder I am able to create, not this HDFS. That's what we need to okay. create. I'll update in the next session. Okay. Okay, let me switch to the discussion. For now, let me continue on my louder distribution. This commands. So this is first thing you have to do. And the other commands were every day. These are the other commands. Those two has possibility you can download product. Now, so other comments. Suppose I have a file like this cat abc.txt. Do that. I, I put something. Don't worry about what is there inside this. This is my file. And where is this file? This is in my local machine abc.txt. And if you want, you can change permissions for that chmod. Sometimes it is necessary. For this, Right now it's not necessary, but just I'm showing you. Then you can say LL. Now this has turned to green color. Can you see this now? Means you, and also the permissions have changed. Earlier you found, you know, there are three things here. One is a user, uh, our owner, group, and uh, others. Okay. So here, if you see, when I say ch mod. So, and give all permissions, read, write, and execute permissions for uh, owner as well as for group and for other such. Now, I want to keep this in HDFS part. I want to put it in HDFS part. Then the command for that observe so here, you can directly HDFS DFS hyphen put. put. And it will be like this your file from local file system. From where you want to copy. So, there are two parts here. It is put command. See, creating directory, it looks like this. MKDIR. And for keeping file in a HDFS path, put R. Actually, there is something called copy from local. Otherwise, uh, copy from local. These are, these are the two commands. But mostly people use put in real time cluster. What people use is <coughs> users put command. How do you, what is the syntax of that? HDFS, note it down. I'll tell you in the next class what is the issue with them. Earlier I am able to create in CloudX lab a folder, but this time I don't know the reason. Some issue is coming, but I'll, I'll explore and update. SDFS, DFS hyphen put, or if anyone can get a chance to explore on that, just update me in my WhatsApp. So the hyphen put, then here path of local file system. Okay, path of local, and here again space path of HDFS. Okay, right. So let me just show you here quickly. I want to move this abc.txt to hdfs. How can I move it? First, uh, let me clear this. hdfs, dfs, hyphen, uh, sorry, no need of any hyphen. Directly as it is there in the local, you are in the current path. Okay. The path is by default, it is in uh, current directory. So you can directly say abc.txt. And if path is different, you can give a fully qualified uh, path like slash home 
class or there are this is fully qualified the, the path might be wherever it is but still you can direct this will work you can directly put it if you give fully full path okay and if you are in current directory then you can just give that a file name then you have to move it to hdfs slash user slash cloud error i want to keep all all files in one folder then press it okay unknown command of course what is missing here if i should do that i have to put the flag right put without put if you try that it will get same error enter now this time it will work So now this is how you you user cloud. Uh, there is a small type also here. Cloud era, okay. not an issue. You can keep making note of all this. Anyhow, it's there on the this thing also. This time it will work, guys. Now my file, you know, I am able to copy the file from local file system to HDFS. So I should check it. HDFS DFS hyphen ls slash user slash cloud error slash enter can you see there are you able to see this suppose i want to open this file in hdfs not in linux file system see if it is the here local file system i can see abc Add space uh, and this enter. I can see this, but I want to see from HDFS. Then how can I do that? I have to say HDFS DFS hyphen cat slash user slash cloud error slash abc dot txt. Can you see that? Okay. Are you able to see that there? So, means this is how you have to view a file from uh, where? From HDFS. Next one. After that, suppose I want to move the file from HDFS to local. Reverse. This is what put will keep file from copy file from local file system to HDFS. Okay, get or you can also apply copy from local also. There is this. If a file already exists, it will say file exists. Okay, it doesn't overwrite. So you can see HDFS DFS hyphen. You can also apply this copy from local. Okay. Now then space again your abc.txt, then slash user slash cloud error slash one. Can you see there what it's saying? As this file is already there, it will say file exists. Okay, suppose if you want to just quickly test, I'm just creating one more new file, abc1.txt. Okay, I'm just adding something. Nothing in that, okay, don't worry about what it is. Now what is that? Then cat abc1.txt. Now I am moving this to the HDFS using copy from local. Just to show you that's all. How, how this copy from local works. Just keep adding all this. <coughs> now you can go and check in that path. Okay. Whether it is copied or not. <coughs> Okay. 
can you see abc1 here we want to see what is there inside that again apply what command apply cat so this is what i do regularly in my office but of course the files are different but at least this is one thing which i do in my office okay so user mono cloud era mono is a direct okay of course slash i have to say what slash abc1 dot in local file system you can just type you can just click on tab but if it is uh, hdfs you have to type it completely tab don't work in hdfs are you clear right now it will it will show you content can you see there okay next one so this is about uh, moving data from local file system to hdfs and the two commands how this put and uh, copy from local one and next one get or copy to local Usually we use mostly get command. With this copy to local, of course, you can use that as well. But more than that, uh, get is smaller, right? So we try to use get and we try to use put commands. Copy from local or copy to local, we don't regularly use it. Okay. I'm just telling you which I use this. Okay. So it's up to you whether to choose why any one of that. Next one. This is again this is the syntax look like this hdfs dfs hyphen get then path of path to hdfs that's all automatically it will get to the position wherever you are can you, i'll just show you here can you see now i have abc one dot txt i am removing that here Okay, RM to remove any file. This we didn't discuss so far. Suppose if we should remove a file in HDFS or a file in local, then we use RM command. Remove permanently. Okay, RM hyphen R is applicable for recursive. Means uh, whenever you have nested folders, uh, you apply it. Uh, when you remove directory, but for files, I, I don't think we need to apply R. Remove ABC one dot. Uh, txt okay, it is asking to remove a regular file yeah you can just type what is that uh, press enter yeah. so now you can see abc1 dot txt will be removed i just say yes there why means that yes asking to remove it now from hdfs i'll copy it to local even if it is already in the local when you are trying to copy from HDFS, it will tell that, that that command tells file already exists. Understood? So you have to check that. HDFS DFS hyphen get slash user slash cloud error slash ABC. Okay. One dot txt. Okay, of course, I am missing mono here. The path is not correct. Even when you don't give right path, then you don't get the file. Now it is copied. You want to check it? Press LL. You can see here ABC1. Can you see this now? That is how you copy a file from HDFS to local. Got it, right? And you can do the same with copy to local also. Just replace get with copy to local. That will work. Okay. So these are, you know, when you talk from HDFS perspective, the most used commands are this in my project. Every day I do listing in HDFS and that is one operation. Sometimes I create directories in HDFS. That is one operation. Just I am clearly telling what I do in my in my project because so that you can talk to people with confidence and interview if they ask more than anything else tell them see 
they are not required to the CPU file, we might apply, but this is where the commands which regularly we apply now. And uh, moving files from local to HDFS, moving files from HDFS to local, and applying cat command in HDFS, and also removing, sometimes we do remove operation in HDFS. See, these are the most common operations every day. We perform all these operations. Apart from that, I don't do anything else. If you ask me. And changing permissions sometimes. Okay. That is one thing. Because only to my files, to my folders, not to other files and other folders. Not possible. Clear, right? All of you are clear now? The, the uh, CloudX lab uh, able to create directory. So what is the issue there? Which what is I want? Is, uh, slash user yeah. under that we are giving here cloud error, right? Same way we need to give that uh, full uh, username, which cloud uh, CloudX lab provided us. Okay. You mean so uh, under that we need to create directory. Okay, 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 okay. We got it. Thank you. That's really helpful. The, you mean Manover learn well. 57462. That's what I should give it, right? Yep, yep, yep. Okay, then. Okay, folks, the, we got the solution here. Thank you, Madhu. That's really helpful. So, in a, if it is CloudX Lab, HDFS. So, already, if you know something is allotted to us, right? This one you have HDFS, DFS, uh, then hyphen LS slash user slash manohar learn well okay five seven four six two this is what i should use here okay this is of cloud and i will give what probably there is nothing still uh, is under processing yeah? Is there any spelling mistake? Uh, for me, it is working now. Okay, fine, no problem. Then it's good for, for use uh, Hadoop FS instead of uh, HDFS DFS. Okay. Uh -huh. No, it's it's works for even DFS also. But but spelling mistake. Spelling. Okay. This is actually the more. Easy. This is what we use regularly, but anyhow, I'll try both and check. Okay. More than Hadoop FS, people prefer to use this one only, but uh, slash user slash. Uh, you have to use this, right? I, I didn't create this. I have to create with the same folder name. Huh? Or under that. You just, you just copy and paste. You just copy the username. Okay, that's, that's wonderful. I'll do one thing. Okay. So HDFS, DFS, hyphen LS, slash, user, slash, this one. Nothing is there, of course, in this folder. Yeah. So, but it has to just show that at least some, it has to move to the next uh, command, waiting for that. Okay, this time it's, it's it's fine, right? Now let me create a directory under this. Okay, now it's fine. And let me create a directory here. MKDIR. Slash. I'm just saying test directory. From I said, this is a bit, uh, you know, slower. Uh, the network is not that fast to me. 
Okay, let me try this now. I have done this. File exists now. This time it's showing that I've created. Now HDFS. Somehow it is very slow to me. So here I have created a test directory. Can you see this now? Now I want to see the files under this. You can see. So here uh, you can directly say remote test. And then press enter. Can you see that now? You have two, two folders created. So thank you, Madhu. Thanks for uh, exploring it. So this is the use your uh, Path, if it is default path for path for Cloudera in uh, CloudX lab is uh, sorry, uh, default path for HDFS in CloudX lab is uh, what is that uh, user and then followed by your username for your uh, username in the login credentials. Got it right? Username, that's what it's correct, right? Correct me, Madhu, if I'm wrong. User slash username in the lo login credentials correct right correct correct okay thank you thank you so this problem is solved so practice can go happily now can you can you try the commands which i told you can you just quickly try this create one uh, what do you do create one local file copy it to hdfs and copy from hdfs to local file system can you test quickly all this stuff <coughs> So these are regular commands which I use, guys. I told you, right? I, I am, no, I can, what do you call, what should I say? I swear or people call. What I do in my office regularly on HDFS is these commands. I told you, right? Regularly. First thing, listing. LS I apply on HDFS. Second thing, get uh, put command. Then get command. Put is more compared to get. OK? And then uh, MKDI, yeah. this is there, at least, yes, of course, every day at least we, I try to create one or two folders in HDFS due to the, no, I need a path in my HDFS path to copy the files, the JSON files which we get. Okay. Then what else, sir? Remove is one thing which I regularly do. I'm just listing out the most common used HDFS commands in my project. Then you can also say that copy to local or copy from local. Sometimes people ask a question, what is the difference between these two? Why you prefer that? To be honest, we don't see the difference when you are working. Okay, even that guy who asked in an interview, even you don't just care that. But it is an interview, right? You want to just test you somewhere. Generally, copy to local and copy copy from local, they are only applicable only for copying from local system to HDFS. Whereas put and get are not just confined to for copying from local file system to HDFS, you can also use put to copy from some other file systems to the HDFS. But so far, I didn't get an opportunity to copy from some other file system to HDFS. Put is not restricted only for copying from local. But copy to local is restricted only for copying from local. Similarly, get. Get is used for copying data from HDFS to local or any other file system. Whereas copy to local, it is clearly there. It is used to copy from HDFS to local file system. Following this. Yes. Okay, I am a bit slow, I know. But you know, this fundamentals has to be clear. That's why we are going slowly, one by one. I know, I know, you need to, but definitely, if you concentrate clearly, this is going to get a clear idea for you. Okay. That's all this uh, for today. A small request for all of you. Can you please, all of you, share your contacts, guys? So that uh, for any further contacts, it will be easy for us. Those who wish to continue the sessions, okay? okay. Please share your contacts, please. Thank you.
group yeah contact numbers you just share here so that we can add this to the groups or uh, you, if you wish to be there the other way you can exit from the group not an issue but the regular uh, for some other communication suppose the session is not there i want okay, to okay. so suppose some other you know, you know i am not uh, possible i am the session might be little late so i can at least update you that so if i have your that no problem nagendra even whatever the session it might be you can clearly understand what's happening in the class even if you miss it okay you know you don't know the background but the current thing what's happening you can get some idea <clears throat> Okay. Are you good, folks? Is it clear for all of you? Thanks, Madhu. Thanks for your uh, uh, what do you call for exploring it and updating me so that it is helpful for others, others as well. Now, all of you, all of us are on the same page. Or are you? Do you have any issues, folks? All of you, you are. Now, all of you are. Now. All of you are able to work with Cloudera Lab now. You got idea, right? How to deal with Cloudera Lab? Yes. Yes. So this is because this is a free thing, so it's easy for you to practice. Yeah, sure, Vera. Thanks. Thanks. Srikant, I'll show you. Don't worry, I'll show you. He's asking me to show Cloudera. Why not? Definitely, I'll show you how to download Cloudera and how to install it in your machine. That I'll show in the next session. See, why I prefer CloudX Lab is not everyone can upgrade or upscale your machine. So I choose CloudX Lab first so that others can, those who don't, uh, you know, have this thing to uh, upgrade your machine so that you can work from here. Those who have configuration, then you can follow that, okay? There is nothing like lagging. Yesterday I didn't teach anything, uh, Vinod Krishna. I just only taught some basic Linux commands, okay? I will upload the session today immediately. Any more questions?